Most people think that you can only have images in a gallery on Squarespace and for gallery sections, that's true. But for gallery blocks, we can actually upload videos. So I'm gonna show you how to upload a gallery block and then how to upload videos to that gallery block. So to start off, we wanna go into website and then we wanna to go to the page that we're gonna actually add the gallery to. So we're just going to use the home page in this instance. Let's click edit and then we'll pop the gallery in here. So let's just make this a little bit bigger and then add. We're going to add a gallery block. Now I've heard some people say that it's only circle members that get access to this. So if that's the case and you're not a Squarespace circle member, sorry, but um, yeah, if you do have access, great. Anyway, so we'll stick in the gallery block and what we want to do is double click on it. And all we need to do, you see, it looks for all intents and purposes like you can only do images with this saying, you know, upload images. But what we need to do is click on this plus icon here. And then you see we get three different options. So what we want is video. And then we just need to paste the URL of our video into here it's going to process this it's going to automatically fill the title it's going to give us a thumbnail and then what we're going to do is save and there we go and you can see it actually comes up in here so let me make this look a little bit better and we'll stretch out the gallery itself and we'll say you can have two on a line so design and then two and then you can see my beautiful face what we want to do is probably crop this. So do three, two standard. That looks a little bit better. You could probably get away with widescreen. Let's see. Yeah, maybe widescreen works as well. So you can crop it down to widescreen, but that's not really the point of the video, is it? So we go back in and if you want to change the thumbnail, what we do is we click on settings and then we click the bin. And then what we can do is either directly upload a thumbnail image or search for an image within our library already. So let's just add this in, hit save, and then that is gonna show here. So if you want a custom thumbnail, you can add that. The one that it pulls through from YouTube, I think you can do Vimeo as well, but the one that it pulls through from YouTube is a little bit blurry, doesn't look the best. So this is a better option for doing that. Let me click off, click save, exit, and then when we open this back up, and we click on this, it's going to show us something that video. people brilliant. So then you can add in images, you can do more videos, you can intersperse whatever amount of each you want in there. So this is a really good way of presenting different forms of media instead of just images in your gallery. So hopefully this works for you. Again, I'm not sure whether it's just circle members. Apologies if you're not a circle member and you don't have access to this, but regardless, hopefully you found it useful. If you did, please make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe and check out all of the Squarespace resources in the description below.